All right, welcome back to the program. It's time for our second interview. Linus Okore, who is the president, Gottney, is joining me right here to look at the issue around productivity, performance, and profitability in leadership. Welcome, Linus, and uh, welcome to the program. <laughs> Great to be here again. Now, uh, let's talk about the issue of leadership, especially in time of a crisis, because the world has never seen this kind of thing, at least in recent times. Uh, we suffered a great lockdown. Um, we are still all reeling from that. Uh, during the lockdown, I did a lot of programs on leadership uh, du during the crisis and all of that. Do you think that leadership, the challenges for leadership across board, perhaps even businesses, have been so, uh, 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 you know, so magnified by this crisis? Yes, absolutely. In fact, um, in moments of crisis, you know, all over the world, that is even when great leadership emerge uh, because people are normally pushed to their limits. People are stretched in times of crisis. There's a lot of confusion. Businesses, uh, particularly this COVID period, a lot of them were suffering as a result of the fact that things were no longer normal. Things were different as a result of that you requires a lot of thinking, thinking out of the box in that type of, it requires high level of innovation, high level of creativity to actually move your business from one level to another. And especially when, for instance, borders, so other places borders are closed, uh, people are thinking about uh, products are not available, you know, the, the services are now limited, you know, in, in, in that shape. So the, the, the bottom line of companies are actually you know, on the downward spin. And as a result of that, a lot of companies are not able to even pay salaries. And it, it, uh, towards the end of the month, a lot of people are ready, you know, stretched because they have a lot to do in terms of meeting with the, 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 you know, the salaries of staff. So if you look at all of the issues, it now requires that in times of crisis is when instead of leaders shutting down and moving into the state of anxiety and fear, I mean, uncertainty can drive a lot of business leaders into so much fear that they can even be so confused that in decision making, they might not be able to make the right decision in order to be able to drive progress. So in that regard, individuals who lead companies and institutions and businesses will now take the responsibility of ensuring that they shut their minds away from threats. Okay, so assess for me, the type of leadership that we've seen, especially across businesses and governments. I'm talking about Nigeria. Assess for me the, the quality of leadership, at least in the last few months. Is it the leadership of fear? Is it the leadership of hope? It was Obama that said <laughs> the hope, uh, that believe in hope. I think he campaigned then in 2008 yes. <laughs> or so. Uh, 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 hope that I will believe in or change will believe in or the other about. So ha assess for me the kind of leadership that you've seen. Yeah, I, I think that we've, we've, we've had a lot of fear mongering, not just in Nigeria, globally. The crisis, you know, positioned the, the people in such a way that a lot of leaders were communicating fear. Media was communicating fear, <laughs> actually, you know, such that... You was know, that communicating fear? I mean, I mean, all <laughs> over, I mean, all over the world, even, even the big media, as you can never imagine, all the, th all the things coming out of their systems were that of fear. Is that it of fear or fact? It could, be, it could be fact, but there's a way you can communicate, you know, fact, you know, without necessarily, you know, mag magnifying, you know, fear. And, you know, a lot of people became afraid. But leaders are dealers in hope. Leaders can have a, a, a particular situation that is not too good, but the way they communicate that can inspire fear, sorry, can inspire hope. And in this particular country, what I would, what I would want to see in businesses would be for, for you know, leaders to, from time to time, you know, continue to speak to the people, the emotional intelligence to be able to speak to the people that we will pass through this. Despite of the challenges, we will pass through. And then that would also you know, get the people into a learning mode. When people get into a learning system where they are required to build leadership capital, required to build a learning system, required to build a, a, a seeking of new information that can enable them to step up their game so that they will be able to see beyond the reality. 
And that's what stimulates leaders to be able to do the best they can do in difficult times. And in fact, that is why in times of challenges all over the world, that is when people invented, you know, leaders wake up and invent things that have never been. You know, people create, you know, things that have never existed. Innovation will take place. Creativity will take place. And at the end of the day, guess what? Things begin to happen differently. Let's talk about the program you're putting together around productivity, performance, and profitability. Uh, speak to me about it. Okay, great. So what we are beginning to think that, what a beautiful way to end the year. This year has been challenging, so we're talking about 2021. And so we are beginning to you know, ask businesses that one of the greatest challenges businesses face is the issue of productivity. A lot of people are busy within organizations, but not productive. And this is impacting on the bottom line of organizations. And both private sector, public sector, this is, this is something that is all over the place. So many activities, little results. And so we have been able to put together a two-day virtual leadership training program that is you know, coming up on the 10th and 11th of December, you know, 5 p.m. Uh, to about 8 p.m. daily where we have brought together some of the best minds in the subject of productivity. Somebody like Brian Tracy, the gentleman who wrote Eat That Frog. I mean, he's written over 80 books, and he is uh, you know, quite recognized around the world as the man who advises, you know, coach, you know, big, big time CEOs for the five companies and things. So he's a great speaker. So he will be leading uh, seasoned speakers from all over the world about six solid speakers from all over the world for two days. We'll be engaging you know, a lot of you know, human beings from all over the world who are willing to stretch their minds and learn some new strategies on how to be able to even allocate time to themselves and utilize those time to create much more impact in what they do. They were also going to be dealing with issues you know, that has to do with driving leadership, saving saving time and creating value. We're going to talk about you know, value creation. How do you reinvent your yourself. company that is already there by reinventing yourself? Imagine if, if all of the staff in your organization who are already feeling disappointed by the outcome of this year, who are already tired, who are already fearful, how do you reinvent this team? By 2021, they are in form of a retreat and they come back with a new sense of energy, with a new sense of passion, with a new sense of commitment to getting things done. The secret of organizational growth is actually the results. It's actually you know, creating actions that can stimulate results. And so what we're going to be dealing with this conference, people like um, you know, my own brother, Lanry Olushola from Nigeria, you know, one of our best guys here will be part of that you know, conference. You, you, you have people like uh, Dele Momodu, who would also be part of that conference. You can see that even in this time of crisis, he reinvented himself completely, you know, and then, um, you know, began to do a lot of things differently. And then you have, you know, people, people like um, uh, Rufius, you know, my very good friend, you know, uh, Ruben, Ru Ruben West, you know, he'll be speaking from, from America. You have uh, people like uh, Clyde Rivers, he is also going to be speaking from America. And we have, you know, Tania will be speaking from Mozambique. And it, okay, I mean, so how, how, do, how, how, Julia, how do people register? Yeah, anybody who is interested, you want to be part of this particular program, I mean, on the screen, I mean, you can actually see the numbers there. The numbers are, are right there on your screen, but if the numbers are not there, you can, all you can do is send a text message to um, 015791-9770 or just go to our website, www.g o t n i dot africa w w dot g o t n i dot africa is just um, just a hundred dollars uh, or forty five thousand naira you can decide Minus to just a hundred yes. Yes, hundred dollars is not just <laughs> in the Nigeria yeah, I mean, of now. When you're talking about, it's not just when you're talking about. I mean, someone like us will go to listen to Brand Tracy, who pay thousands oh. of dollars overseas, and then we're bringing him, you know, right here to add value to the people. I mean, for the five thousand naira, you know, uh, to add value to a staff. If you have a staff of two hundred people, you know, specifically, you can decide to say, I want all of you 
to be part of this, you know, virtual leadership training. If you, even if at the family level, you want your family members to be productive, you can say, I want every member of my family as a husband to be part and of this wife. As a husband and wife. To be and able then, to <laughs> absolutely, to government agencies, government home. agencies, institutions of government, private businesses, small businesses, big businesses, um, and for to five other companies in Nigeria and all over Africa. I mean, it's an opportunity for you to come in to say, let's deepen into the concept of productivity. Let's improve our capacity to perform as a result of the leadership skills that, and competencies that we we'll develop, as well as you know, understand the concept of prof profitability. How do we sell more? How do we sell more? Sell more services, sell more products, and become much more than we can ever be. I mean, it's just unbelievable. So 10th to 11th? Uh, it's on the 10th and 11th of December, December. And it's going to happen 5 p.m. every uh, day, uh, 5 to 8 p.m. every day. That's three hours. Uh, uh, three hours. And mm -hmm. in the comfort of your bedroom, in the comfort of your parlor, you just, uh, once you register, we're going to give you admission letter immediately with the re registration details. And you just plug it in and everything. And then, you know, you get knowledge from around the very best in the world. I mean, Brand Tracy will be leading that conversation. I mean, I have sat down. His Brand Tracy is about 78 years old, man, uh, you know, right now. I have sat down, you know, under him in San Diego for four days. He drove us, you know, back to back. I mean, I just, like his book. I mean, it's the yes, it's, it's that, that frog. frog. I mean, it's a fantastic yeah, I think, guy. I think it's a book. So you can't you afford do. to meet a, miss a brand Tracy mm. and some of the best minds we have in this country and globally too. Okay. Any other thing you want to add before we go? Or mm. that's basically yeah, I mean, all. all. All I'm saying is that the capacity to learn is a first step towards reinvention. Mm. And this is what the Godney Leadership Center, the most comprehensive in the country, is offering the Nigerian people, the African people, and the rest of the world to key in so that you can reposition yourself, reposition your company for 2021. Mm. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Sister. All right. Um, I've been speaking with Lino Sokore in case you want to register. His, uh, the information, of course, on the screen. And uh, you want to... Profit 2021, you want to be productive, you want a better performance in 2021, you should start preparing now. And not January 1, you say, I have a new year resolution. <laughs> it doesn't work that way. <laughs> You've got to prepare. So I think I will leave it on that note. <laughs> I'll see you all tomorrow, God willing. Be the best you can be. Be the change that you want to see. I am Nancy Naji. Bye now.